a young chap, a Melbourne boy called Stephen Rossito. Good Italian name, and mm -hmm. uh, this is his very first time here at Magic 1278, and you're going to hear him sing pretty soon. But firstly, Stephen, welcome to Magic. Hello, how are you? Very oh, good. It's a pleasure to have you, Stephen. What excuse did you give your school today? Because you're off class for the morning. Oh, well... <laughs> I just took it off. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, as well you should, because I think you are doing things that are setting yourself up for an amazing career. We need to explain that Stephen's gift is a voice that comes from we don't know where. Yes. And, and an appreciation and an interpretation of music that is way beyond his 17 years. So if you were to Google your name and on YouTube, you would find you sitting at a piano, which looks like home, hmm. and this is you very raw, and we're going to let everyone have a listen for the very first time to Stephen Rossito singing this beautiful song and a great interpretation. Yes, yeah, quite a surprise, isn't it? A surprise yeah. for us, a bit of surprise for you when you saw it back. Was that piano in your home? Yeah, it's uh, my keyboard at home, yeah. Okay, it's and uh, have, we st have we asked how old you are yet? How old are you? I'm 17. 17. Yeah. And only just 17, yeah. Stephen tells me, your February. birthday's in February. Yeah. So how, oh, does, how did all this come about? You need to tell us the story, Stephen. Well, um, I started singing when I was 11. Yeah. And um, just really one thing led to another, and... I was introduced to some producers um, that I started writing music and recording a few demos with. And then one day we just decided to put a video up on YouTube huh. and it took off. And, it did yeah. take off, didn't it? I mean, we were alerted to the fact you were on YouTube. With, as I said, it's just something beyond your years. You were channeling a spirit from somewhere else. Why did you decide, how did you become interested in what's basically the great American songbook, the, the wonderful old standards of generations before yeah. you? Well, um, actually, when I first started singing, I was much more interested in classical music, actually, yeah. And um, one of my big idols was Andrea Bocelli, mm -hmm. and I actually went and saw Pavarotti in concert. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's farewell to him. That was pretty much the moment when I decided I wanted to become a singer, really. Isn't that inspiring? Yeah, it was very inspiring. Mm -hmm. But um, naturally, the songs of Pavarotti sing and Andrea Bocelli sing are quite difficult. Mm -hmm. And um, for an 11-year-old, a bit out of reach. <laughs> oh, <you're laughs> and even now, for a 17-year-old, very out of reach. So um, uh, my singing teacher uh, got me onto a lot of the jazz music and Michael Bublé had just uh, come out around the time I started singing. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I started singing a few of his songs. Yeah. And the first song I actually sang was Moondance. That was oh. my first performance. Wow. Uh, where was your first performance? At my cousin's wedding. Actually. <laughs> yeah. so, so this is Stephen Rosito, the wedding singer. Yeah. Well, that's how it begins. Who knows where it's going to end. Do you have singers in uh, in your family? Uh, well, not really. They're not, no one in my um, immediate family uh, is very musical at all. Um, but uh, on my grandfather's side of the family, all his brothers and sisters and cousins, that, there was a lot of opera singers and a few musicians in America. And, People oh, like isn't that, that yeah. wonderful? This is a great tribute to your grandfather that you're yeah. carrying the torch. And what do the family think of this, Stephen? Well, they're all very excited, very yeah. proud, I suppose. I suppose they're listening right now. Yeah, they like to say hello, all. Hello, all. Hello. <laughs> oh, you're a good man. <laughs> Listen, the thing about you, Stephen, is that you're not copying the people who have gone before. You're interpreting these songs. How do you set about doing that? Well, firstly, I do listen to what the other hmm. greats have done, like Frank Sinatra and uh, Tony Bennett, Harry Connick Jr., Michael Bublé, people like yeah. that. But then I suppose I look at the lyrics, I look at the music, and I try and see what I can bring to it. That and what do that, you feel? That's absolutely song. right, yeah. yeah. But also we wanted to um, do an album that was a real tribute to the old school 50s and 60s. And yeah, I think that's. I think we've achieved that. I think yeah, you have. Yeah, certainly we've have. better share a bit of it. I reckon so. So this is uh, the fully produced version of uh, Stephen Rossito, not from YouTube, but from a uh, studio. Have a good listen to this. A 17-year-old schoolboy who's taken the morning off school to come and talk to us, <laughs> and we want to share him with you now at Magic 12:78. Saturday night is a long 
good song. It's a good voice. <laughs> that's the night, the night so, so where is all this gonna go, Steve? What do you think? Well, we've got a concert coming up. Yeah, on the 5th, yeah, on 5th of August, Palms at Crown. Fantastic. Yeah. When's that? Um, 5th of August. Excited? Yeah, very excited. So, um, a little bit, yeah. It's gonna be my first <laughs> real big performance. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen! Yeah, so, um, but, uh, yeah, that is uh, really, hopefully, a stepping stone to one day being in Vegas or something like that. Sure. Yeah. Right. And Vegas is a bit, yeah, of course. Yeah, I'd love to that. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen, that's the story. That's what's more. I love your I don't think I like being off with my hands while you're not getting it. Yeah. You're lucky not a girl, darling. Yeah. So I'm promised. No, no, I like what's in there. Oh, it's just a sparkle. You're just meant for this. Did you have fun recording this? Did you have fun recording this? Yeah, being in the studio of the band. Yeah. Just the energy. Pretty gutsy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And I think I love the good big band. It's so good. Yeah, that's right. What other instruments do you play? I play the piano. Yeah. And I've just I've had a few well, I've been learning for about three months. Well, before. Okay, here we go again. Finally. There he is, round of applause. You can clap yourself if you like, Stephen. Oh, I love to clap you. That was blow away on every level. Indeed. Stephen Rosito at Magic 1278 for the very first time. There is Saturday night here on this Wednesday morning, the 25th of May 2011. Mark it down in the diary the first time you heard of this boy yeah. because you are going to go places. You're going to be in Vegas. You're going to be on Broadway. You have got it, but we've got it little steps to begin with. Do you have a concert coming up? Yes, I've got a concert coming up on the 5th of August at the Palms at Crown here yeah. in Melbourne. Yeah. How do you so, feel about that? I'm um, a bit nervous, but very excited. It's going to be my first um, yeah. major performance, really. Well, since your cousin's wedding. Yeah, yeah that's right, yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I'm very excited about that. You've got the big band behind yeah, you? Yeah, we're going to have a nice uh, big band. Oh, beautiful. Good orchestra. And you're going to be playing the piano as well? Yeah, I might play a few numbers oh, on the piano. Do you, uh, do you play any other instruments, Steve? Uh, well, uh, before Christmas, I actually started... Uh, Learning the violin. Oh, yeah. Well, Jane can play the ukulele. Oh, so really? If I'm not bad on the accordion. Hey, we've got we've a got future a together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Can we ride on your coattails? Oh, absolutely. You never right. notice two extra musos down the no. back. <laughs> that's unreal. Stephen, stay with us. We'll talk to you again in just a tick. We'll take a break and we might play a favourite song of yours. We'll find out coming up. It's a quarter to nine at Magic 1278.